Hey everybody, welcome back to my podcast. I'm so excited to just take a minute and debrief and share some things with you about what I am observing in the Western healthcare space is what I'll say. I can't go into details because I wanna protect the privacy of my relative, but what I will say is this. It feels like they're, you know how we say they're running game? That's what this exactly feels like. I just sat in an appointment with one of my relatives and listened to this nurse practitioner give the report of a radiology exam. And it was like, we looked at your blood pressure, that was fine. We looked at this, that was fine. This is fine, that's fine. Yeah, you're doing great, you're fine. How do you feel? Okay, you're fine. Okay, we'll see you uh, next week. So I'm sitting here like, okay, back up. What was the blood pressure? Okay, that's not fine. That's slightly elevated. We need to take that again before we leave. And what was this measure? Okay, so that's shrunk. That's great. And what was this? And what was that? Oh, well, I'm just giving you the recommendations. I don't care about no recommendations. Context is everything, right? So they didn't even ask about history and context. And when I started to give it, and it was like, yeah, well, basically, we just go by what the recommendations of our professional association says. Well, I appreciate that. We have standards and recommendations, but you also have to remember that medicine is very personalized. Healthcare is very personalized. So I appreciate your recommendations, but if you are, if that's your filter and not my humanity, if that's your filter and not what I'm telling you is is normal in my family, if, if that's your filter and what I'm telling you doesn't mean anything to you, we have a problem. And when I started to dig deeper into what they were sharing, which I don't even remember how I was able to pull it out of this particular nurse practitioner. And I was like, so what were y'all going to tell us? Oh, we just send it all over to the doctor and they'll just set all of that up for you. No, 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 no. That's not how it's going to work. And I wish I could say more, but I can't. But here's what I want to say. If you are thriving and there is nothing wrong, there is no need for someone to force a procedure just because. And that's all I'm gonna say. And when the time is right, I'll talk to my relative and I'll ask them, can I share a little bit more? But I'm, I'm not okay with the assumption that you are just gonna make a decision and not even invite me into that space to discuss why to ask me how I feel about it, to give me space for respectful pushback. These doctors need to get a grip. You are not God's gift to the earth. We all are. You are not in charge of anybody's body. That person is in charge of their body. And whatever they decide is what you need to agree to, whether you like the decision or not. We have to get back to patient centered care and not physician centered patient care which is an oxymoron in and of itself i respect disease management physicians and what they bring i respect that they've studied a lot but i struggle with bedside manners i struggle with this superiority complex that whatever they says goes be okay with a patient asking you questions. Be okay with them bringing that family member like me in the room who's not going to allow you to just say everything's fine. I want numbers. Show me the numbers. Prove to me everything's fine because guess what? It wasn't, right? And so when I had them retake, for example, today, blood pressure, it was normal. But had if we just go off of what's on that paper, that could mean something totally different in the context of this visit. So you we need to retest that. Did y'all ask my relative to quickly do a blood pressure no sooner than they walked in the door? It's probably going to be a little bit elevated from walking across parking lots and elevators and all through the hospital and all that stuff. But this is crazy. This is crazy. We have to do better in America in our healthcare systems. We have to do better. We don't have a choice, right? Because at some point, doctors, your mother is going to be on the other side of the desk. Your child, your significant other, your relative, your loved one, your friend is going to be on the other side of the desk. If you would be uncomfortable, there you go, with your loved one, relative, your, your child, whatever, receiving the care that you give your patients, if you would be uncomfortable and uneasy with that, 
that lets me know you are very aware of what is going on. That's what that lets me know. And it means that you have the power to do something about it. Healthy providers can provide healthy care. What do I mean by that? We as practitioners cannot provide quality care if we ourselves are not mentally right and emotionally right. Right? We have to be healthy from the inside out in order to display that to others. It's so easy to tell a caring physician from one who doesn't. You can always tell the ones who love themselves and the versus the ones who don't. And then they're ones who hide it really well. But if the way you treat people, patients, you would be uncomfortable treating your relatives and loved ones that way, then you are very well aware of what you're doing and you are very well positioned to make change. And you are very well in a position to do something about it. I am so tired of hearing stories of stories of unnecessary injury and death at the hands of healthcare providers because fill in the blank. Enough is enough. And I need y'all to hear me. Hear me, people that look like me. All right? Take whatever aspect about me that you relates to you. And hey, you may look like me. You might have a little less melanin, a little bit more melanin. But find something about me that looks like you. Okay? And I want you to start to speak up for yourself. And, and come with your questions written down. And when they say, do you have any questions? Actually, I have quite a few. And if they say, well, just give me one, I got to go. No, 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 no. I am paying for this time. You are already late. I'm going to ask my questions. My first question is this. My second question is this. I don't understand. Can you help me understand? Okay, if you're not willing to talk to me, you don't have time, I'll sit here. Could you please send someone else? Can you please send your department chair in here to talk to me? I'll wait. Send the hospital administrator in here to talk to me. I'll wait. Right? Y'all have to remember, these physicians are people just like you. The only difference is they chose to study a little bit more biology, a little bit more physiology, and all that jazz, right? A little bit more complicated, complex is what I'll say. Sciences, because they allegedly are doing what they love. And if you're doing what you love, that should shine forth. Regardless of the political implications and barriers and all the stuff that CMS, all, regardless of all of that, if you love what you do, the human in you will not willfully mistreat someone because they're having a rough day, fill in the blank, because of the color of their skin. So I'll say it again. If you as a practitioner will be uncomfortable being treated the way that you treat your patients, then that means you know exactly what you are doing. You know exactly, you are aware of the behavior and now you are empowered to do something about it. So on In the Kitchen with the Plant-Based Nutritionist, we talk all things health and wellness, including how to advocate for yourself at these appointments. Take notes. They don't want you recording. Why? Here's the thing. If you ain't doing nothing wrong, you shouldn't be mine. You shouldn't be upset. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have an issue with me recording, right? But it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just walking on shelves and don't want to be sued. Do the right thing. I'm just so tired of hearing about injury after injury after injury because some doctor decides you're not worth their time to follow up. Go get another job. Don't be a doctor. Don't be a nurse practitioner. Don't be an advanced practice provider if you don't want to do the work. Don't be a nurse. I want somebody that's looking at my labs when they come in. I want somebody that's taking my complaint seriously. It's nothing more frustrating than telling the doctor how you feel and they blowing it off. When they blow it off, it's because they don't know. They can't relate to it. It's okay. You don't know everything as a physician. As a practitioner, I don't know everything either. But here's the thing. Say you don't know. And then tell me what you're going to do about it, right? I don't know the answer to that question. Here's what I do know. Let me talk to my colleague. Let me do some more research. Let me get back to you on that. As a matter of fact, let's put you back on the schedule next week. Hold my feet to the fire. Let me get you some answers. That's how it should work. But we don't care. We just so oh, well. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Just do this. When 90% of all non-communicable diseases are nutrition related. We have to do better. We got to treat people better. I appreciate the recommendations from our different medical associations, 
but that is not the gold standard. You got to listen to the patient. You cannot ignore humanity. And the longer we do, the more we're going to see issues of morbidity and incidences of mortality in these healthcare and hospital systems. The more we're going to see people not getting care because they'd rather deal with the ailment than deal with you. So, dear provider, dear practitioner, if this doesn't apply to you, take it with a grain of salt. Move on. Fast forward. Don't watch the video. But if this stepped on your toes and you feel some kind of way, push pause. Reflect and ask yourself why. This is an opportunity to do some self-improvement. But as for me and my house, mm -mm. I will advocate for my family. I will be at every visit. Whether in person or on faith, I will be at every visit. I will ask questions. I got passwords to, to my charts to counsel. I'm looking. I'm watching. And some of the messages are coming from me. Not my sibling. Not my relative. Not my fill in the blank. Because you're not going to treat us like that. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. So I don't care, doctor, what your ethnicity is. Because it's happening across the board, by the way. I don't know what this sense of entitlement has to stop. It has to stop. You are an important piece of the puzzle in this thing called life. But you're not the only piece. You're just one piece. Normally, I end my talks with I'm here to inspire you to take your health back one month at a time by eating more plants. But today, I just want to encourage you all to speak up. Speak out. Own your health journey. Don't allow anybody to do anything that makes you uncomfortable. If you do not have peace, it's okay to say no. You are allowed to control who's in your room, who's involved in your care, and who's not. You're allowed to say you don't want students and trainees involved. It's okay. You're allowed to say that. You're allowed to say, I don't want residents. I don't want fellows. You're allowed to say that. And if they get an attitude and they get upset, just ask for the department chair. Hey, listen, clearly you're not in a good headspace today. I'm not, now I feel unsafe, right? Ask for a transfer. Like, we got to learn how to speak up for ourselves. And do it in a way that holds people accountable. So they can't say, you are loud and angry or the angry black woman or the angry aggressive black man. You just be calm. Play their game. I'm sorry, doctor. I don't think we're seeing eye to eye right now. Is there a different colleague that you can bring in? There isn't. What about the department chair? Okay, I'll wait for the hospital administrator. And in the meantime, let's start thinking about a transfer. Because what's more important for me is my safety. And right now, I don't think you're in an emotional place to provide care for me that's uncompromised. Right? Use your words, guys. I'm done. I'm off my soapbox. This is probably a prelude into a podcast you do about speaking up for yourself. But did you know you need to speak up for yourself? <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say on that. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>